This wind of change blowing through Africa is no ordinary wind. It is a raging hurricane against which the old order cannot stand. The great millions of Africa and of Asia have grown impatient of being hewers of wood and drawers of water and are rebelling against the false belief that providence created some to be menials of others. For this Africa needs a new type of citizen, a dedicated, modest, honest and informed man. A man that submerges himself in service to the nation and mankind. A man who abhors greed and detests vanity. A new type of man whose humility is his strength and whose integrity is his greatness. If the young leader of Burkina Faso Ibrahim Traore is the captain of anti-neo-colonialism, Kwame Krumo was the major general, dressed as a civilian. Hello, welcome to Kwame Krumah Avenue in the capital city of Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou. In this video, I want to share with you why Burkina Faso named this street in honor of the late hero of Africa liberation, Dr. Kwame Krumah. While I do that you will be able to see what it's like walking the streets of a military-ruled country. In 1957, Kwame Krumah led Ghana to become the first sub-Saharan African country to gain independence. Krumah's achievement was not only significant for his country, but also served as a catalyst for other African nations, particularly Burkina Faso, in their quests for liberation. Kwame became the first African to use the words neocolonialism when he noticed the subtle ways in which former colonial powers maintained control over newly independent nations. He argued that economic exploitation, cultural imperialism, and political interference continued even after formal colonialism had ended. I am still walking Kwame Krumah Street in the capital city of Burkina Faso. This is undoubtedly the biggest street in the country. Kwame faced significant challenges and consequences for his efforts to challenge the status quo and promote self-determination in Africa. His influence and ideas left an indelible mark on the African continent and continued to shape discussions on sovereignty, development, and post-colonial identity. Krumah's anti-neocolonialism movement and struggle were instrumental in reshaping the narrative of African liberation. His advocacy for unity, economic self-sufficiency, and political autonomy left a lasting imprint on the continent's journey toward empowerment and self-determination. Krumah called for economic self-reliance through industrialization and the development of local industries. He believed that African nations needed to break free from their economic dependence on former colonial powers and forge their paths to progress. This effort by Krumah got the British to almost completely give many of its African colonies the freedom they needed. Burkina Faso recognized and keyed into the anti-neocolonization movement that was started by Dr. Kwame Krumah. Thomas Sankara quickly followed in the footsteps of Krumah and embarked on a radical transformation of Burkina Faso's political, economic, and social landscape. Sankara's policies focused on reducing the country's dependence on foreign aid and loans and instead advocated for self-reliance and sought to develop Burkina Faso's economy through agricultural and industrial initiatives. Today we have young Army Captain Ibrahim Traore and his colleague in Mali trying to continue the struggle and lead Francophone Africa through what can be called end-time neocolonialism. Traore joined the Army of Burkina Faso in 2009 and quickly began to climb the ranks. He was sent to Morocco for anti-aircraft training before he was transferred to an infantry unit in Kaya, a town in Burkina Faso's north that is at the center of insurgency in the country. He got promoted to lieutenant in 2014 and joined a United Nations peacekeeping force involved in the Mali War. In 2018, he was cited as one of the soldiers in the Mali War who showed courage during major rebel attacks. 
He subsequently returned to Burkina Faso where he assisted in operations against the escalating jihadist insurgency. Traore fought in several counterinsurgency operations in the country's north. He was promoted to captain in 2020, just two years before he rose to power as Burkina Faso president. Now let's continue to walk through some other streets in the city to see what they look and feel like. At the end of the video you can follow my journey across West Africa. I hope you found value in the video. Please take a little time to like the video and subscribe to the channel.